Good morning to both of you. The crash happened about 15 miles east of this airport. According to initial reports, the helicopter hit a power line and then went down in an open field around 1245 yesterday afternoon. The aircraft ultimately caught on fire was destroyed by fire. The crash happened next to County Road 346 off of State Highway 95 around 1245. The Federal Aviation Administration says the chopper was carrying two people left the Georgetown Airport 30 minutes before crashing about 15 miles away from it. Based on the information officials have collected so far, it's believed the helicopter hit a power line and crashed into a field and caught on fire. Those who live nearby say they knew something was wrong when their homes lost power. I walked out, I just saw a big black cloud and I could see the flames. And so being in the middle of the field like that, I knew there something had, something had crashed. So I just didn't know at the time what it was. Originally, they weren't able to get to the helicopter for safety reasons because the power line was connected to the helicopter. It was on fire, um, so it had it, it took them a bit. Now, the two people killed have not been identified yet, but officials do tell us that the helicopter was registered locally here in Georgetown. The NTSB is in charge of the investigation. A man of the crash killed two people in this morning. One of them has been identified. A press release from the Jordanian Armed Forces says one of the victims was a member of their military. This is the name of that individual. He was in the United States for some kind of training. The release also says the other person killed was an American pilot. Officials say the helicopter went down about 15 miles east of the airport here. The crash was reported around 1245 yesterday afternoon near Granger. The aircraft hit a power line, crashed into an open field and caught on fire. First responders were initially unable to get close to the helicopter because a power line that was attached to it was on fire. According to the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, officials had to make sure the power was off before they could approach the plane. Rescuers found two people dead at the scene. Philip Wagner, who has lived in the area for 14 years, says there's always a lot of air traffic, but this is the first time he's seen a crash. It's any time there's a loss of life, I mean, you know, sad and uh, I feel for the family, you know, they, they're, they're going to have to, they're the ones are going to have to deal with a lot of, you know, lost loved ones. So it's, it's a pretty sad day. The Williamson County Sheriff's Office believes that the two people killed were the only ones on board. Right now, it's unclear where they were heading. Back to the studio. Lauren, the crash killed two people. Right now, officials believe they were the only people on board. They have yet been identified as of this morning, but officials tell us that the helicopter took off about 15 miles east of the airport. The crash was reported around 1245 yesterday afternoon near Granger in Williamson County. The aircraft hit a power line, crashed into an open field and caught on fire. First responders were initially unable to get close to the helicopter because a power line that was attached to it was on fire. According to the Williamson County Sheriff's Office, officials had to make sure the power was off before they could approach the plane. Rescuers found two people who have not been identified dead at the scene. Philip Wagner, who has lived in the area for 14 years, says there's always a lot of air traffic, but this is the first time he's seen a crash. It's any time there's a loss of life, I mean, you know, sad and uh, I feel for the family, you know, they, they're, they're going to have to, they're the ones are going to have to deal with a lot of, you know, lost loved ones. So it's, it's a pretty sad day. Right now it's unclear how many people were on board and where the helicopter was heading. Good morning to both of you. That's right. The helicopter took off from this airport and then crashed about 15 miles east of here. According to initial reports, officials do believe the helicopter hit a power line, crashed into it, and then ultimately caught on fire and was destroyed by fire. The crash happened next to County Road 346 off of State Highway 95 around 1245 yesterday in the afternoon. The Federal Aviation Administration says the chopper was carrying two people left the Georgetown Airport 30 minutes before crashing. Based on the information officials have collected so far, it's believed the helicopter hit a power line and crashed into an open field and caught on fire. Those who live nearby say they knew something was wrong when their homes lost power. 
The two people killed have not been identified. Officials say the helicopter is registered to someone here locally in Georgetown. The NTSB is in charge of the investigation. Good morning to both of you. Officials believe or say that the helicopter crashed about 15 miles east from this airport. And this is one of the people killed in that helicopter crash. He was the passenger on that chopper. He was a first lieutenant and fighter pilot in the Jordanian Army. We got this information from a news release on the Jordanian Armed Forces website. It says the pilot was in Texas for training. It also states the other victim is an American pilot but hasn't been identified. The aircraft was ultimately destroyed by fire. The crash happened next to County Road 346 around 1245 yesterday. The Federal Aviation Administration says the chopper was carrying two people left the Georgetown Airport 30 minutes before crashing. Based on the information officials have collected so far, it's believed the helicopter hit a power line and crashed into a field and caught on fire. Those who live nearby say they knew something was wrong when their homes lost power. And the NTSB is in charge of this investigation. Now back to the studio.